The Chosen, uh, Series 3, Episode 2. It's a wonderful uh, movie. Appreciate the uh, character and the, the depth of the original contents and a lot of the scriptures. But I just had a little question about uh, Jesus uh, with uh, little John, little James in the movie here. And I just want to switch over to that uh, scene as we review that on the episode you remember watching tonight. Master. It's James. May I have a moment? Of course. I am. Um... Forgive me, I'm uh, not always confident to speak. Slow to speak. It's a very good quality. <laughs> wanted to ask you a question, please. So you are sending us out with the ability to heal the sick in leg. Yes, that, that is what you said. Yes. So you're telling me that I have the ability to heal. <laughs> Forgive me, I just find that difficult to imagine with my condition. Which you haven't healed. Do you want to be healed? Yes. Uh, of course, if, if that's possible. I think you've seen enough to know it's possible. Okay, the movie says that uh, you've seen enough <clears throat> to believe that it's possible. But we're going to find here that the movie alters from the uh, scriptures where it says in Matthew 8, verse 16 and 17. It states that Christ healed all diseases on the ground of the atonement. And the atonement was the reason for making no exceptions while healing the sick. He healed all that were sick that might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying himself took our infirmities and bare our sicknesses. Since it is our sicknesses, he bore his atonement and praised us all. It would require the healing of all to fulfill the prophecy. Jesus is still healing all who came to him with living faith. And that's the uh, the truth about that. And, uh, you know, I love the movie. It's very emotionally touching, a lot of the scenes. But, uh, you know, we're trying to create an audience here and having a person who's uh, paralyzed or had some uh, injuries, an actor who uh, has this uh, disability, has a weakness. And, you know, we uh, I worked uh, in healing rooms and other places. Uh, praying for the sick and we have to overcome that uh, fear that God is asking someone to uh, suffer to give glory to God in the kingdom which is an, sounds nice and they bring that out into the movie here that it would be more advantageous for a sick person to give glory to God by praying for others to receive healing and uh, but it's it's not really scriptural. It's emotionally acceptable in many churches. But Jesus healed all who believed who came to him seeking healing, and that's what we want to see is that truth. I mean, this is a, a doctrine that many uh, say that is it God's will? If it be God's will, then you'll be healed. So there's that questioning, that doubting. I would not if it's God's will to heal you. But God is clearly stated in the scriptures and in the Bible that you know that we're to lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. So it's in the scriptures. And uh, but I, I love the show and we'll just hear the rest of it, okay? And we just want to go back into the uh, the movie here. Why haven't you? Because I trust you. What? Little James. 
precious little James. I need you to listen to me very carefully because what I'm going to say defines your whole life to this point and will define the rest of your life. Do you understand? In the Father's will, I could heal you right now. And you'd have a good story to tell, yes? Yes, that you do miracles. And that's a good story. But there are already dozens who can tell that story. And there will be hundreds more, even thousands. But think of the story that you have, especially in this journey to come, if I don't hear you. To know how to proclaim that you still praise God in spite of this. To know how to focus on all that matters so much more than the body. To show people that you can be patient with your suffering here on earth because you know you'll spend eternity with no suffering. Not everyone can understand that. How many people do you think the Father and I trust this with? Hmm? Not many. But the others, they're so much more. So much more what? I don't know. Stronger? Better at this? James, I love you. But I don't want to hear that ever again. I know how easy it is to say the Song of David that I fearfully and wonderfully made. But it doesn't make this any easier. And in this group, it doesn't make me feel like any less of a burden. A burden? First of all, it is far easier to deal with your slow walking than it is to deal with Simon's temper. Trust me. Are you fast? Do you look impressive when you walk? Maybe not. But these are things the Father doesn't care about. You are going to do more for me than most people ever dream. So many people need healing in order to believe in me. Or they need healing because their hearts are so sick. That doesn't apply to you. And many are healed or not healed because the Father in Heaven has a plan for them which may be a mystery. And we remember what Job said. The Lord gives and the Lord takes away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. When you pass from this earth and you meet your Father in heaven, where Isaiah promises you will leap like a deer, your reward will be great. So hold on a little longer. And when you discover yourself finding true strength because of your weakness, and when you do great things in my name, in spite of this, the impact will last for generations. Do you understand? Thank you, boss. A man like you, healing others. <laughs> Oh, what a sight. I can't wait to hear your stories when you return. Shalom, my son. Shalom. And James. Remember. You will be here. It's only a matter of time.
I like what he uh, said at the end there. In a little while, James, you will be healed. Just a matter of time. But, uh, you know, that's wonderful acting, putting a little uh, additional flavor into the movie, emotional time. And uh, I understand that uh, if a person is uh, crippled, disabled, has a weakness, it doesn't stop you from being used of God to pray for the sick and to see miracles and healings to abound and give glory to God despite your suffering. But it's not God's will that any suffer or be sick. You now we have a limitation in our faith that hinders us from receiving, but it's not really the Father's will for you to suffer when Jesus came to this earth to die on the cross for all sinners, right? Just as Jesus forgave all sins, he didn't just forgive some sins, he forgave us of all our sins. He atoned for all our sins and all sicknesses. So, you know, just be encouraged that God loves you, has a plan for your life. It's not a special plan for those who are sick. It's the same plan. We want to glorify God and worship God when that if we're whole. I mean, I go out and I pray for the sick when I'm not feeling well, my leg is bothering me, or I'm sick, have an infection. I will pray and see people healed by the power of God to heal them. But I don't give glory to God that uh, I'm struggling uh, maintaining my health, my healing, because God wants all to be well. Shalom. Be at peace. Be united in the spirit of truth and the love of the Father. And like he says, when you go to heaven, there is no sickness. You will leap as a harp. And how much better God be glorified in those who receive their healing. And those who don't, we don't want to judge them. God bless them. Believe God. And it is truthful that having the love of the Father, knowing you're accepted, you're forgiven, and you have a personal relationship with Christ is of most important. We love to see all sick be healed. We don't understand uh, why not everybody receives, but we just like the truth, what's in the scriptures. Like he said, these are spoken by Isaiah that he healed all who were sick and diseased that came upon him. I know in modern day you know, medicine and culture, uh, we kind of drift away from the truth, but the truth is Jesus desires to heal all who are sick and diseased, just like he forgives us all of our sins. You know, and I'm going to continue to watch the program. It's wonderful. I mean, I, I pray they don't bring too much of the world's entertainment into this Bible episode. It's touching a lot of people's lives and you know, we're thankful they put as much truth in there as possible. And uh, we are grateful. And uh, you have a great night. And we'll look forward to more of these series. You know, it's very helpful that it's paid forward and it's free for those who can't afford it. And God bless you. Enjoy the program. But realize that Jesus is God. He's not a limited limitations of a human. He's God in the flesh who can do all things and he glorifies.